said you brought the 91. Okay, lawn care types, this is a big cleanup we've been working on the last two afternoons, just a couple hours each afternoon. You can see how overgrown the rock beds. This has crushed red rock. Uh, it's probably not been cleaned up in two or three years, I'm guessing. I didn't realize how much work actually pulling these established tall weeds through this gravel is. Before we use the string trimmer, to trim away all the weeds off of these edging bricks. We didn't even know they were there actually. It was so tall and grown over, but we've cut it away from there. We're gonna finish pulling the weeds here. Um, yesterday we trimmed up all the hedges. This tree here, it was hanging down to the ground. You couldn't even get underneath it. We're gonna clean up the rest of these beds and give this a good mow today. So this rock bed, we did take care of the other day. It had quite a bit of weeds in it and we pulled every single one by hand. Uh, Dylan also trimmed out these bushes out front. I think there was a total of 11 or 12 shrubs on this property. These are about four feet high. We cut them back pretty good. Dylan, what are you going to work on today? Okay, so I'm going to work on that flower bed over there. There's a couple more weeds in it over there. And way over there. Once we get that done, and after my dad gets that one over there done, then we're gonna mow this yard real quick because it's a little tall. So hopefully when we're done with all these rock beds, they're gonna look like this one.
So what just happened, Dylan? Okay, so I was over there on that uh, flower bed, and I looked over here, and this guy got out of the car over there at the intersection, and he walked down here, and then I looked up at him, and he walked back and got in the car and left. I think he's trying to steal something out of the back of the truck. He got back in the car that the guy dropped him off in? Yeah. Yeah, but he saw you watching him? Mm-hmm. Yep. Lesson to everybody in lawn care, if you have unsecured equipment, you gotta watch it all the time. We normally have stuff locked up on the trailer, but since we're just pulling weeds and edging and doing a cleanup, we don't have the trailer with us today, so keep eye on your stuff, guys. So I got most all of the heavy weeds pulled uh, from this rock bed. They were so tall, I wasn't even really sure that these two potted plants, I could see the top of this decorative root ball here, or whatever it is, sticking up, but I didn't know those two potted plants, actually three, there's two over there. We're in the middle of this, it was growing up so tall, so I yanked it all out. Uh, what's left? Tomorrow after we have access to a garden hose to wet everything on the outside down, we're probably gonna take a weed torch and burn all this stuff down to the gravel and it should wither away. Other than taking up the gravel, putting new weed fabric down and putting more gravel on top, which I don't think the owner's willing to do. Uh, the weed torch is about our best bet for getting rid of what's left here. So we're gonna finish up what little weed pulling we have left here. Uh, go around everything real good with the trimmer. Use my leaf vac. Pick up all this loose st stuff and sticks. Get this cleaned up, shaped up, and then we'll mow it. Hopefully be done this evening here in a couple hours. Just to give an idea of the volume of weeds that came off of this little corner rock bed. This bag is about 30 inches tall. I believe it's 36 across. And it is two-thirds full pure grass and weeds. How's it coming along? Good, I got this side pretty much done. I've got this little part right here to do that I'll be done with this flower bed. Yeah, whatever's left tomorrow. If we have access to water again, we'll wet it down and then torch down whatever roots or small stems are left. Should clean it up pretty well.
it's almost done. We were gonna double cut this, but I'm kind of irritated about all the trash and crap we have to mow around to pick up. So we're just gonna keep it at three and a half, three and three quarter, whatever he's at. Come back and mow it again in three or four days. I have a word with the landowner about these tenants in this duplex. We can't clean this up with all this trash laying around, junk. This has been a nightmare of a yard. This is the yard that Dylan normally does on his own. He's been mowing and trimming, but everything was overgrown, all the rock beds, landscaping. Everything's been out of control for a couple of years. Uh, we decided to offer the owner of this duplex a cleanup, which we've done. It has taken, we got about six and a half hours in all of this. Uh, before we started, you couldn't even see this part of the landscaping was all overgrown. Uh, we're still gonna have to finish up and burn off some of the residual weeds here. But we're not replacing any of the rock or fabric or anything like that. We've cleaned up all these edges, removed probably 300 pounds worth of vegetation, trimmed up this tree, 12 shrubs. There's some over there, there's some on the other side I'm not gonna record. Well, there's three out front, Dylan did. We still need to use the leaf back, mulch up some of this debris, leaves from the bushes. We'll come back, do that tomorrow. Dylan's blown off with the handheld blower. We got a lot of this cleaned up. But we're gonna have to have a talk with the owner and explain why we can't take care of the back of this property. There's just too much debris, junk, trash, wrappers, toys, dog waste. I understand people have to live their life and don't pick up after themselves like everybody else. Wow, look at that sunset. I'm not sure if it's gonna show through, but it's pretty cool. So here's the cleanup we just did. Uh, I way underestimated it. We still gotta finish up the ditch tomorrow. Do a little leaf vacking in the rock beds. But it is so much better. All the shrubs are trimmed up. Everything's edged out nice. We cut a lot of edges. All the shrubs are cut back. Those trees on each side, are, they were hanging down to the ground. They're all finished up. But anyway, guys, it was a nightmare. I kind of regret doing it for the price that I did. We've got six and a half hours in it total. And we're still going to have to go back and do another second mowing probably in a couple days to mulch everything up, cut it a little shorter. Like I said, the leaf vac in the rock beds to clean up some of the trimmings. So I don't know if we'll video that or not, but uh, hope you all have a good night.